Okay, so again, what's the fall? So we're doing throne, or walking right into throne. Oh. Uh -huh, so we're going to do a possible fall first. So she jumps up. If I'm not pressing this way, she could collapse this way really fast and her chin will hit my knee. That's a, actually a really bad fall. Right. So what do you need to do? Your arms need to be locked the whole time, okay? So I'm going to, um, let me break this down from the base view here. So my feet, first thing is the distance. He's walking up this way towards me, but I find the closer, if you have really open hips, the closer she walks towards your hips, the easier it is for her to mount because she doesn't have to actually jump forward so much. She just jumps up. But if your hips aren't, if you can't bring your hips so far, just mount where you normally mount bird, which is where the feet touch the hands there, right? Okay, so a common thing for bases to, to do as they kick up is their legs will slide right into the fly's crotch like that. So you, an important thing to remember is what's point B? Point B is thrown. Thrown isn't where the, when the legs, the feet are right in the front of the thighs. It's underneath the thighs, right? Because you're sitting on the feet. So you have to imagine where the feet go, where they're going to end up. So they need to be underneath here. So because of that, you have to really bend your toes back a lot this way. Meet them right there. So you're underneath the thighs there like that. So when she hops up, she's actually on your feet. So hands straight. Never let them go down this way because then she, she could really hurt herself. So your arms are locked the whole time. And two, one, she's going to give me a little bit of a hop up and towards me. Let's do that again. If she hops just straight up, what's going to happen is she hops up and then she's going to fall back that way. She needs to hop up and right above my waist here. That's the center piece that you're trying to get to. That's the fly. You need to hop up and right on right across the midline of his waist there. So again, my toes are underneath here. My arms are this way. She needs to hop up and over my hips this way. My arms are straight to support her to once she hops and I kick and receive her weight. I bend a bit. If you kick right away, it's harder for her to get all the way up. You have to bend your knees a bit so she gets upright. Because if your legs are too straight, she's too much forward, right? So bend your knees a bit so she gets upright. It's to keep pushing. Watch those legs. They wrap right away. When, as soon as you wrap, you have a lot of strength in your core. It connects with your legs there, and you can sit up, and then I'll press up. Notice I'm not too far into her legs this way, nor am I way out towards her knees, like way out here. Because that's harder to mount. So right in the middle, right around there, and then she wraps. What? Less than what you were doing. What do you mean?